Hi, my name is Liz O'Brien. I'm farming here with my husband, John, and my son, Sean, and we live in North Wexford. Uh, we have 220 spring calving dairy herd, uh, Frisian, um, and we start calving on the 1st of February. Well, um, calf health is, is huge on the farm. The amount of time that we spend on calf health um, is, 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 a, is a lot <laughs> um, because it's a lifesaver. If you have a good, healthy bunch of calves, uh, um, the time and work is gone out of it and um, life is much easier and you've time to do other things on the farm during that really, really busy time. So it's really important the calves get off to a really good start and you keep them going along the way. Well, a good start is everything. So the colostrum, the three litres of colostrum straight away. Um, and we always make sure they get a second go of colostrum for their second feed. Um, and then they're moved over to um, pens, which have lots and lots of straw and good ventilation. We learned that the hard way. Um, it's most important. So then we monitor the calves. We make sure that they are fed twice a day, that they're feeding all the time. Um, if they're not, then we intervene. Um, with electrolyte to give them more energy and um, because I find that if they get sick at all then it just eats up your time so we keep an eye on that and for the first time this year we introduced a probiotic uh, this probiotic we just found unbelievable and um, we start the calves on it straight away and we kept it going all the way through and the results of the calves we had hardly any scour um, and if any did have a scour they, they came back so quickly from it um, the probiotic is fantastic for the gut, um, it, 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 it uh, stabilises the gut, um, it, it boosts their immune system. Um, you could see it in the calves when they went to the mart and you could see it if a calf wasn't well, how quickly it responded um, and how quickly it recovered. <coughs> Well, as a mother of five kids, I kind of was always into that, um, especially if they had to have antibiotics. I was always into giving them a probiotic afterwards. But even if they were off form and tired and they play a lot of sport, I'd, I'd always give them a probiotic and keep it. And I, I find that my kids are quite healthy. So for animals, it's very same. And um, so using a probiotic for the calves was a no brainer, really, um, because it boosts their immune system. Their gut is everything. You work from the inside out with health. Um, and I found for the calves, their immunity was up. Um, any of them that did get a little bit sick with anything, they bounced back very quickly. Um, so with some electrolyte, so no antibiotic usage. And um, it's the way forward, absolutely, for, uh, for animals and for people. Yeah, well, the future of farming looks very bright and I'm very optimistic about it for, for the dairy industry. Um, we, we look after our animals, almost like we look after our children. We look after the environment. Um, as you can see when you drive around the countryside, um, the way the farmers look after it. Um, so we want to hand it over to the next generation better than we got it. Um, and when it comes back to the calves, and you know, everybody wants to reduce the use of antibiotics because of the food chain. I mean, we're eating the food at the end of the day, so it's really, really important.